Well, like, hi, Caitlin. Do you know anyone who's thinking of proposing anytime soon? Oof. <laughs> what do you want? Okay. So, no. <laughs> I'm asking because we have this opportunity to do this video with this uh -huh. company called Synthesia, and okay. they do native dubbing, which is sort of like, they could make me look like I speak a language that I don't speak, like it's dubbing, but with all the facial movements much more accurate, like... Uh, the Obama video? Yeah, did? exactly like oh, that. Wow. So I was trying to think if there was a way to do like a proposal or something. Hmm. You know that I'm married, right? But then I've never been proposed to. We just got married <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, and Marty doesn't speak Mandarin either. So maybe we have him propose to me in Mandarin Ooh, in the video. Do you think he would? We'll see. Hi, I'm Edie. Hi, I'm Marty. And we've been married for... Three years? more than two years. We met at a place I was working at. I was working at an oyster bar and Edie came in to eat there a few times. And one time I was like, Can I the have first your phone time... number for my friend? No, that's not the story. That's okay. what I remember. My ver oh, we have different versions. My version of the story is, till the third time I went there, I was like, Hey, can I have your number? And he wrote down his number on the oyster menu and gave it to me. That's how it started. When we first met, Edie was still on oh, your visa, F1, F1 visa. F1 visa as a student. It came to the point where I either need to get a work visa or I might need to leave the country. And then he just goes, I don't want you to leave. Let's just get married. Everything was going so fast and unfortunately we didn't have the typical proposal and it got rushed insofar as that aspect. This year we finally had the chance to go back to China and celebrate with my family. At the banquet I had to write a speech for everybody to know kind of where I was coming from and what we had been through. It was hard for Edie to play translator the whole time. Oh yeah, um, I was exhausted. It was like a double speech, which would have been a lot easier if I was able to speak Mandarin. So today I'm going to be proposing for the first time. By using this technology, I will be able to see Marty proposing to me in Mandarin. There will be three different reveals. You know, first, me seeing myself and hearing myself speak Mandarin. Secondly, Edie getting a proposal that she deserves, which is uh, kind of the way that marriages typically work. And then uh, thirdly, for her parents to hear me speak Mandarin as well as see me propose in like some form or fashion that they would be able to understand. Since Marty can't speak Mandarin, we found our family friend who's gonna say the translated speech. Marty is very talented in his words and expressing his feelings. So I look forward to it. Also, I secretly hope that he will also get inspired to finally decide to learn Mandarin. I honestly don't know how most proposals happen. I like to do like off the cuff things. Do most guys write proposals down to like repeat to who they're proposing to? I don't know. I'm honestly really excited but also nervous because I have really high standard. I'm pretty used to her being picky but I think that she's only picky about certain things. When somebody's trying to express how they feel for somebody I don't think that she's like oh well he better say this. So I don't think that you know anything like that's gonna happen but I could be wrong. <laughs> so DZ has a company where we're developing video reanimation technology, which basically allows us to fix the traditional kung fu style dubbing, utilizing a new branch of AI called generative AI. So this is all about translating content from one language to another. So the way that this technology works is that first, what we have Marty do is do a quick calibration sequence. I'm gonna go over some of the stuff that I've written for this proposal. I'm gonna get my face mapped for the software to work and pray that everything goes well. Let me just run through the script on the prompt. Sure. Just the one normal, and then we gotta do different motions. That quick beige fox. A sad one. That quick beige fox. Angry one. That quick beige fox. Surprised one. That quick beige fox. <laughs> Hold on, I think I f***ed that up. Then we move on to training our AI software to learn his facial dynamics. The way we do this is with some interview style uh, speaking to camera. What do you most enjoy about living in Los Angeles? Oh man, that's going to be a short answer. All right, so now we're going to be going into the actual um, proposal reading. Edie. We have been really busy working and trying to make money to facilitate our goals. It's like it's not is scrolling. Is it still going slow? No, it's just not scrolling at that point. So I wish we could go back in time. I wish we could go back in time. <sighs> it's like, <laughs> I wish we could go back in time. It's sort of hard to control that, but try to keep your eyes in the same spot on the teleprompter. Okay. It's still rolling. Everyone settle. Just take your time with it. I wish we could go back in time. I'm still going. Damn. 
looking into camera and just gives a smile. Great. Nice. All right, hey, thank you. All, All right. right. Jesus. Then we're ready to bring in Shui, our dubbing actor, and he has translated the script from English into Mandarin. ED. When you directly translate to another language, the words mean exactly the same word by word, but the sentence actually changes a little bit. So I changed the original script a little bit and made it more sounds like a proposal in the Chinese way. Marty's always good at expressing his emotions. He will always tell me how he feels about me. However, since it's gonna be someone else's voice, that could be a little weird. Then we bring back the footage for our algorithms to work with, essentially transfer the dubbing actor's facial movements onto Marty's face along with the audio track. And this is what makes it look like Marty is actually speaking in Mandarin. I think the worst case scenario would be the video would work too well and the translation would be off and I would would just be saying something that's totally crazy. I didn't just like we get a quick handshake for you guys. <laughs> you can also do <laughs> one you. where she, he's coming up behind <laughs> Marty like that. <laughs> I'm replacing you. <laughs> so it's been a couple weeks. We just got the video back and I'm excited to watch it. How about you? I think the reaction will be somewhat surprised but mostly pleasant. So we'll see how if I'm right or not. So calm. Really, you don't seem to be quite as calm. Of course I won't be because I've never been proposed to and this is my official proposal. So I hope I hear what I want to hear. All right, let's pull the video. Oh my God. Go full screen with it. Edie, we are busy. We are working on something. I hope I can go back to my life. I want to be able to say to you, I want to be able to be able to be to be able to be able to be 不可或缺的那个人有了你我更加强大接下来的那一步我想和你走下去请不要担心这一切还并不完美我们会越来越接近的我们对彼此那么有信心一切都有可能是你给我带来了欢乐和安宁如果你愿意的话让我们成为彼此的独一无二因为对
那么多的挑战。When Edie's mother came out here, we used a lot of translation apps. So I think that being able to speak Mandarin through any means, even if it's somebody else speaking, will be a big thing for them because it's a big milestone. 对我而言，你就是那个最好的人，伊迪。你愿意嫁给我吗？完了吗？完了。有什么感想吗？就觉得 Marty 说的特别好，特别真诚，由衷的那个发自内心。哎呀，我挺感动的，因为我们也没在你们身边，我不知道 Marty 是，这是他心里会说出来这么多的话。有没有注意到这个视频？有什么特别的地儿吗？我们妈咪怎么会说中文呢？我就想想我真的，我我,我想是说这个给他肯定是配音，当时我吓了一跳，我说汉语说的怎么这么流利？但是非常接近，妈咪的声音，嗯，跟他平常的发音和语速啊，那个语气啊都非常的像。如果他讲完英文再翻译过来，就是我那种感受就会迟一步。这个直接讲汉语的话，我就觉得字字都直击我心，就觉得哦，这个。特别一下子就收到了那个感受，后来我就觉得我女婿将来就能够说这么棒的汉语。<笑>我觉得他对你的感情是比较真诚的，把你交给玛丽呢，我是比较放心的。嗯，希望你们俩将来能够越来越好。希望这个没有吓到你们是一个开心的惊喜。Surprise！、哎、不可能吓到我们，感觉挺高兴，特别高兴，高兴特别高兴。<笑> That was good. I'm happy we did this. I was a little afraid of doing this. I'm not sure why, but I'm happy it happened. Yeah, I'm glad we did this too. I think it was pretty cool. We've been really busy, and then sometimes we don't have time, you know, to take a moment and think back and think deeper about. I don't know. I'm taking this too far. Can you about just, how everything started? And sometimes you're just like get comfortable. Yeah, you get comfortable, and you're like. Okay, it's it's. Take it for granted. Yeah, you take it for granted. <laughs> See, you know everything I want to、uh -huh. say. <laughs> it's very special for my parents too. I don't think people get opportunities like this, but I'm so happy we did it. I think, as with any technology, it's a tool that you can use for good and for bad. And I think technology sector as a whole and us as a company has a responsibility in making sure that we roll this out in a safe way. On the positive side of things, cultural exchange can be greatly accelerated, and I think the content we're recording today is a great example of that. Yeah.